Hey, what's up everyone? Today we will be working on Excel skills. Alright, so now you have your file Excel charts students. Alright, and here we have the five tabs objectives, app store, rainfall, count, and money smart. Now let's begin with the app store. Here we have generally uh, some prices, some total downloads for the apps and the prices for each individual app and we're going to do some accounting on how to calculate these numbers okay so first I'm looking for the total sales for Angry Bird so just go here so I'm just going to press equals to the app price times the total downloads Okay, so I have this formatting, right, and uh, this results, and I'm just going to go drag down all the way down here, okay, and notice that I have uh, completed quite very quickly all the total sales, right, and I would want to have it in dollars, so I have the currency. In case you want to go reverse, just go back to the comma, I have it all formatting back. And this is for the dollar sign, increasing the decimal places, decreasing the decimal places. Okay, double clicking this to ensure that I have the best optimum fit. Now, this last cell looks like it's a bit off. I'm just going to leave that there for a moment. Percentage. Now, I need to count the total. So, I'm just going to go all the way up here in home at auto sum. I'm just going to go to sum. So automatically it highlights this range of cells. So I'm just going to re-highlight again because it's just going to stop from EU3 to E12. Right, and it's going to go press enter. Now, since the total sales is pretty much the same as the cells, what I can do also, okay, let me just repeat that again. Go to sum, sum, and highlight. And so I have oh, a total of a staggering seven million eight hundred and ten dollars okay so the maximum of total downloads is gonna be the max so max of what max of this range and the minimum let's go minimum of be careful this range e3 to e12 and the average downloads for all the apps would be amounting to about 271,900 okay now since these cells are referencing to the cells above e3 to e12 so I can also copy this okay a quick control C copy I'm just gonna go here and do a control V paste notice that the formulas have duplicated themselves okay but this time around if I double check they have they are now referencing to F3 to F12 so by copying over you are getting a reference okay so what happened here just now so I'm just going to go back to other comma and remove the decimal places okay enter and I'm done okay now for the percentage what I'm gonna do is a total sales percentage of Angry Bird versus the total sales. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press equal total sales divided by the cell over here. So it's about 0 0.02 in decimal. So percentage wise, let's put that percentage, it's about three percent. Let's say I want it to be in one decimal place okay and then 20 percent so let's say i try and drop oh we made some mistakes here why now because when you copy this down notice that f18 the reference cell has gone down but for color me f all right f7 is correct but f18 is wrong so what you can do what you should do is to highlight this and press f4 right that's f4 the f4 key to lock the cells dollar dollar sign ok 
Okay. By doing that, we are locking the cell here, F14, for each of them. Okay. So if I go on to check the formulas, formula, show formula. Okay, let me just... Okay, let me just optimize that. You notice the F14 is locked. Now, we have done this by using the F4 key. Alright, so we just highlight that in F4. Okay, so we have completed our exercise on App Store. Alright, check out the next video for Rainfall and Count.